to sit for a second and say, okay, they're not PC companies, they're not search engine companies. Oh, they're technology companies. No, I think they're in the business of data. They have platforms, they know how to use these platforms, but really they know how to leverage that data to make those platforms work. And the examples they've been giving here for you are in essence how to create partnerships, how to change processes, and more importantly, how to change mindset to leverage what you already have in house. If I turn to you and ask the question, in one year, two year, five years time, what will a postal operator be? What, what business are you in? Are you in the post business or the parcel business or the delivery business or the network business or the business of customs data exchange? What are you doing? So how do you go from being a more traditionally structured business to being a company that leverages data and builds to the strengths of what networks you already have in place to partner with others to create some great business wealth. So given our time constraints, I'm going to turn to both our panelists and really ask the same question given they've worked in the postal parcel area. Uh, so what mind shift changes have to happen? And I see a number of folks here are already there, or already getting there. What mind shift changes have to happen and where in the organization do these shifts have to take place? So Brody, I'm going to start with you. Mind shifts that have to occur. Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, what you do every day is hard work. Um, but it is uh, also becoming the center of the new economy. Right? As more and more people buy things online, you're the organization that takes that digital and turns it into something that's in their hands. Um, and that's hard to do. These startups that I talked about, you know, they're all losing money. Uh, you know a lot about how to do it well, very efficiently, very effectively. Um, so I don't think it's a, a, a fundamental change in what you're doing. You, what you do, you do well. It is about harnessing the power of the data to do some of these things that you do today in a different way and in, introduce more agility, uh, more insight, uh, and, and additional capabilities that the market is starting to demand. We're seeing uh, a huge emphasis on speed right now as retailers want their goods getting into the, the people's hands faster. That's something that's hard for you to do, but with the right data and the right business models and the right new sets of capabilities, uh, it's something you could do and do very well in your geography. So that's just one example of how you take what you do today, bring a digital component to it, right? that transform the core while pivoting to the new, and you're introducing very relevant models for this, the, the new economy. I think that's probably the most important mind shift change, if you will. So I, I would like to think then about, uh, so about the um, exploration versus exploitation. So a lot of companies are focusing on the exploitation. How do I do what I do better? How do I achieve higher efficiencies? How do I use my uh, available physical resources better? And that's how I save costs and therefore I become better. The financial performance becomes better. But, and, and then there are other companies that make a lot of startups, for example, that really uh, excel in exploration, exploring new territories, creating new ideas and new services, and, and then being uh, the early adopters of, of technologies. But companies that, that say the best, most successful companies in the world, if you look at the Amazons, Google, Facebook, those are companies that are able to combine the two. So this, the, the message here is to change the mind shift. Instead of focusing on the uh, exploitation, combining it with the exploration. And they don't have to come to one at the expense of the other. It's really the combination. 